Hey guys, what's going on? Oh, the bad stadium reviews. Oh, just uh, these just get worse like every single time. It's like Joe Wells' internet melts, and uh, yeah. Um, well, just okay. So this is meant to be the AT&T Stadium, um, and I'm gonna criticize this a lot, and I also give points where this person could improve, and also I'm going to be playing the audio as well. So make sure to you know listen. Okay, all right. So we've got the things with the gardens again. No, no one wants gardens in front of stadiums. It's, it's a thing where not many people do. Not many, not a lot of people do. So you know, it's not, it's not anything. So please do not put gardens in front of stadiums. All right. All right, okay, so this kid has just turned around and said, it's pretty much, in fact, you know what, I'm going to like listen to you, so I don't know really if you can hear it free, but. So if you didn't get that, he basically turned around and said, it's pretty much pitch perfect to the AT&T Stadium. Okay, well, first with these things, well, what, what are these? They they have fallen over cranes, mate. They they don't they don't you know we can have them. They they look just like boxes stacked on top of each other. What's this, mate? This. It's like a seven year old's coming to your world and just you know done a diagonal line straight across. It's it's not good. You need to have it more curved, mate. You know what I'm saying? It's like the actual AT and T, mate. I'll put links in the description to what the AT&T Stadium should actually look like. Two stadiums, one of the holder and one of pre prefix designs. I'll go and put them in the link, a link in the description for both of them, and then you can actually have a look what the AT&T looks like. Okay. Okay, so now it looks like um kind of a disformed mushroom. <laughs> it's so good. Right, so here is an information stand. You know, you can go to it, find out what's on in the arena. So if there's a NFL game on, but for this instance, it's WrestleMania 32. So you know. In the title, you don't, you don't really go after going asking the uh, information box since you've got the tickets right in front of you and you know what events happen if you want to sit down next to the stadium and have, uh, have your lunch, you can do. It's, uh, there's tables here with no seats, no seats whatsoever, you know. Just go ahead, have your lunch and have a nice day. You've got more tables to have your dinner on that, if you want to. Okay, all right, no. So, first of all, all right, what is this? Just, just what? What is this? It's it's a it's an NFL arena. It's not a wrestling arena. Fair enough. If you're gonna have it set out like a wrestling arena, and obviously that's what the title says, you've not really made the entrances really clear. Uh, so. You know, that's what I got to criticise. There's not a lot of detail on the stands. It doesn't really stand 
uh, stand out to me. Um, I don't know how people are going to get up the side of the actual, you know, sta- stadium because there's, there's no steps. There's just pure seats going along there, mate. So if you want to edit that, you can do. Look, there's no whatsoever. Um, and seating on is that seating under the stand? Whoa, 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 mate. I'm going to have to stop you there. He just said, he, oh, man, this kid is on drugs, lad. Right, so he's just said, you know, if there's anyone else who can build this better than me, then fair enough. But f- I think I've got the best one so far. Um, You've not really searched on YouTube. You've not typed in AT and t Stadium, and you've not looked on the Minecraft section, mate. You just clearly need to open your eyes. Okay, right, all right. So we get pretty clear picture from it here that this kid is just like kind of not all with it. Um. Supports going across the roof here are a complete different colour to the um, the things outside. They're meant to be the same colour, mate. It's a massive support going all the way through the stadium. It's not going to be rusty on the outside and then pure white on the inside. It's got to be one pure colour going across. So I would change it, make it better. This is one line. It's not, mate. You need to make it 3D. Make sure it's actually... Uh, and it's solid. These curves need to be better. There's it, it, just so much to actually, you know. Just, it seems like cranes just completely destroyed the middle of the stadium, going right through it and like right down. All right, but in fact, you know what? Just for the sake of this video, I'm actually going to show you. Uh, an actual proper edition of um of the stadium. Let's go and see. So th- this is how you properly build it. If you didn't know, um. So I'll just briefly go over this. So this is actually how you do it, as you can see. These are nicely curved going down, a nice little logo, nicely curved roofed. The sides dip in. Entrances made clear, everything's done. Nice entrances, um, well curved corners. Um, there's actually stairs on the side. Um, there's the, the colour of the st- Beams going through are the same as the ones outside, and it is actually uh, 3D as well, as you can see. I mean, yeah. I was shocked at that other rendition, to be fair, I'm still stunned. Um, wow. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you did enjoy episode 3. I'll see you next time. Peace. See ya.